Primavera is one of the most widely used project management software that is capable to handle large scale, highly sophisticated, and multi faceted projects. Multisoft welcomes you to today's session where we will provide you information about Primavera, its importance, professional scope, and a lot more. To get started, let me take you through the agenda. I will provide you an introduction to project management, tell you about Primavera, and then Oracle Corporation. After this, I will share the Primavera course details with you, including target audience and skills, various job roles, and discuss the exam and official Primavera certification details. After this, I will discuss the detailed course outline for Primavera online training and then move on to the sneak preview section. This section will be very interesting, where I will discuss some important course concepts. This will not just enhance your knowledge, but also provide your feel of how actual training will happen at Multisoft. The next section will be Multisoft Primavera online training, where I will explain the deliverables of this program. After this, I will summarize the session for you. So let's start with an introduction to project management. So what is a project? As per the Project Management Institute, a project is a temporary group activity that is performed to produce a unique product, service or result. It is a temporary endeavor with a defined beginning and end in time and therefore defined scope and resources. Projects are a part of our day-to-day -day lives and we come across many projects very frequently. For example, the construction of a house is a project as there is usually a tentative date to start the house construction and also an approximate idea of when it would get completed. Since the house construction wouldn't go on forever, it is a project as it is a temporary activity. Similarly, if a technician plans to develop a new feature for a mobile phone, it will be a project too. Now let's understand what is project management. It is the application of knowledge, skills, tools and techniques in order to achieve customer satisfaction and smooth business operations. Project management involves project planning and execution that helps to avoid delays in the project work, loss of revenue and loss of facilities. It also helps in reducing the additional changeover cost and inconvenience costs. Moving on to understand Primavera. Primavera is a software marketed by Oracle Corporation. It offers project and program management solutions for delivering high-scale business projects. Primavera solutions facilitate on-time and within-budget and scope projects. Projects managed through Primavera support various business outcomes while maintaining overall quality. Primavera is hugely preferred due to the wide range of advantages it poses. It enables project managers to plan, monitor and report on the progress of any big task, development or venture. It also allows users to manage intricate level information of projects and provides instant access to all the project information at the touch of a button. In addition, Primavera keeps all the parties updated within one system and reduces data duplication. Primavera is used in project-intensive industries including engineering and construction, aerospace and defense, utilities, oil and gas, industrial manufacturing, etc. As per research studies, 90 of the top 100 engineering and construction firms use Primavera Enterprise Project Portfolio Management Solutions. Let me now give you a quick brief of Oracle Corporation that is a world famous software company and also the developer of Primavera. Oracle is the second largest software maker in the world. It develops and markets computer hardware systems and enterprise software products. Oracle is popular for its database management systems, enterprise resource planning software and customer relationship management software. Let's move on to the course specific details for Primavera now. Primavera software is ideally learnt by structural engineers and project engineers. After attending the Primavera online training at Multisoft, participants will be adept with the document management system, issue tracking system, project management and project portfolio management. Individuals will also have hands-on knowledge about resource management, scheduling and task management. After learning how to work with Primavera, individuals can apply for the post of Project Manager, Event Organizer, Project Planner, 
consultant and financial project analyst. Once you are proficient in the Primavera software, you can aim to achieve the Primavera P6 Enterprise Project Portfolio Management Implementation Specialist Certification. This is an official certification that verifies your expertise in the software and makes you suitable for selection in top engineering firms and public undertakings. The exam code for the same is 1Z0535. This is a 105 minutes test where students need to attempt 70 multiple choice questions. The passing score for this exam is 66% and the fee for the same is 245 US dollars. Multisoft offers online training for Primavera. The modules shared on the screen will be covered in detail in the actual training. This will be a very interesting experience for you as it will be a live training conducted by an experienced instructor. With that, it is time for the sneak preview section. I know you await this section the most as it is loaded with core subject knowledge. As we are talking about Primavera today, I will cover the significance of relationships in this part. Relationship defines a sequence of activities in Primavera. Since relations or sequence of activities are based on experience and logic, relationships is also referred as logical relationships. Logical relationship is one of the most important steps in scheduling because all the calculations in scheduling, for instance, start and finish dates, total float, free float, number of critical activities, etc. are dependent on the logical relationships. For creating relationships within activities, it is important that the planner has good amount of experience in the construction field. The planner must know the flow of construction activities in real life. He must consult the project manager and other related departments. The final baseline plan will be approved by all departments including civil, mechanical and electrical. In short, creating logical relationships is one of the most important and time-consuming processes. Now the question arises, how many relationships can be created for an activity? The answer is fairly simple. Provide as many relationships as possible to reflect the actual flow of construction. But the minimum number of relationships for an activity is one. The second question is, how does Primavera identify the first and last activities? The answer to this one is that the activities that have no predecessor are considered as the first activities, while the activities with no successor are considered as the last activities. There are four types of relationships, finish to start, start to start, finish to finish and start to finish. Finish to start, that is the FS relationship, occurs most often within several project schedules. In fact, 95% of all the tasks are related in the FS relationship. It is one of the most prevalent of the four relationships. As a result, many project management software packages such as MS Project use it as the default relationship. Unless specified otherwise, the software assumes activities related in an FS manner. It basically states that once the predecessor finishes, the successor can start. One of the examples of FS relationship is car washing. We first wash the car, then dry it and later wax it. It makes no sense to dry the car before washing it and certainly waxing the car before washing and drying will only grind the dirt into the paint rather than protecting it. Start to start that is SS. In this relationship type the start of the successor task is gated by the start of the predecessor activity. Until the predecessor starts the successor cannot start. However, here is another meaning that people miss. It simply states the successor cannot start until the predecessor starts. It does not mean it has to start at exactly the same time. It can occur sometime after the beginning of the predecessor's activity. An example of a start to start relationship might be tabulating results from some market research. In market research, we develop a survey, distribute the survey and wait for responses to our survey. As we receive the responses, we enter the data into a database and tabulate the information. We do not need to wait for all the responses to return before tabulating the information. 
in finish to finish relationships we must wait for the predecessor task to finish before we can finish or declare the successor finished and just as in start to start relationships the successor doesn't necessarily finish at the same time as the predecessor it can finish after the predecessor usually we want all the food to be ready for eating at the same time and placed on the table arranged for the family to eat Using a finish to start relationship while preparing the food results in some portion of the meal cooked while other parts have not yet been started. Using a start to start relationship while cooking some items might be overcooked, undercooked or just right. Therefore the only relationship that works for having all the items properly cooked and placed on the same table is the finish to finish relationship. The fourth type of relationship is start to finish relationship. The successor task finishes when the predecessor activity starts. Wait. How can the successor task finish which means it started before the predecessor activity starts? I don't know about you, but this definition twists my brain sideways. Fortunately, this relationship only occurs less than 1% of the time, so most people miss it or simply don't know that it exists. But it does. I have seen many people trying to describe this relationship and frankly most of them are wrong. Imagine you are a dinner boat cruise owner. The boat leaves the dock at 6 p.m. for the cruise around the city. As a smart owner, you open the ticket booth window for sales at 2 p.m. Your goal is to sell out all the tickets before the boat leaves the dock. At 5 p.m., the captain of the boat calls you and says, "Hey boss, I'm stuck in traffic. I'm going to be late. Please let the customers know the boat won't leave the dock until at least 7:30 p.m." So, 6 o'clock comes and all the tickets are not sold. As the owner, what would you do? Do you close the ticket sales window and wait for the boat to leave the dock? Do you close the window and go home, or do you keep selling the tickets until the boat leaves the dock? Of course you'd keep the window open selling tickets until the cruise is underway. What determined the finish time of the ticket sales? The clock striking 6 or the boat leaving the dock? It is the boat leaving the dock. The clock reaching 6 p.m. is meaningless. The boat leaving the dock determines the relationship between the two tasks. So we see from this example the predecessor isn't necessarily the task that comes first. but one that controls the task relationships if we go back and review the other three relationships already described we'll see the same condition the predecessor determines the relationship in the start to finish relationship the predecessor is the main event the one determining the finish of the other activity in the case of the ticket window opening its opening is determined by the time of day or 2 pm whether the boat leaves on time or not does not impact the window's opening i hope that was an informational session for you it is time that i explain to you about multisoft primavera online training i will explain to you how the training will happen and what all deliverables will be there when you register with us for the primavera online training we will connect with you as per the predecided time and impart training for 18 hours in all For the exact schedule and each session's duration, you can refer to the training calendar on the Primavera course page on our website. The training happens over Cisco Webex. It is a secure web conferencing tool from Cisco that allows real-time learning experience. Once you register with us, we send out event links to you, wherein you log into a Multisoft Webex that allows two-way interaction between the student and the trainer through webcam and voice chat. It is as good as a classroom since the whiteboard allows the trainer to transfer knowledge as done in a classroom. The share option lets the experts share files, videos, applications and even desktops. Once you register with us, we provide you 24 by 7 access to an online resource center wherein apart from accessing other training material, you can also attempt five online assessments. You additionally get access to projects, course modules and reference guides. This is a sample of the online assessment that will test your knowledge on the various Primavera course concepts. All the questions will have four options out of which you need to select the correct one.
At the end of the assessment, you will get the information about the correct answers and reasoning behind the same. Let's summarize today's session now. This will be an 18 hours of instructor-led online training that will be conducted by an experienced instructor. You will get to work on projects as well as you can attempt online assessments. We also provide you 24 by 7 access to the learning management system that has all course-related presentations and reference guides. After completing the training, participants will also get a Primavera training certificate from Multisoft. This session was an attempt to provide you detailed information about online Primavera training. In order to register for the course or to ask any question, please write to us at info at multisoftvirtualacademy.com.